it going? Rack it up, chin height. You're gonna, okay, let's go back again. So you had a nice take back, you had to rack it back. Let's go in slow motion, frame by frame. So now let's look at you. So you had the racket back. So you had a nice open, uh, close the racket face. So you go to the mirror turn. You're turning and pausing, pivoting. You're moving to the ball. You have a nice close racket face. You're stepping nicely to the ball. Nice close racket face. You're stepping in. Let's see how low the hand gets below the ball. Not bad. Let's see the contact point. Yes, nice out in the front. Nice stepping forward. And the back, now look carefully at your back foot. I want your back heel to be facing the back of the court at the end of the swing. This just means that your hip hasn't really totally rotated, so it's not facing the net. So please make sure at the end of the swing, the racket is facing the net. So let's see the next one. Turn and pause. See the nice turn. Turn and pause. You're coming through. Now in that specific shot, the ball is here. Your hand didn't really get landed underneath the ball and then came up. You just pretty much got the same height of the ball and then you try to hit it and then generate topspin that way. So you really want to try and get more underneath the ball if you can. Now this shot, however, is so much better because you see your hip and you see your back foot. That is so much better than the previous one. Now as you hit it, you see how your wrist kind of recoiled and then you folded it like this? Make sure that you have a nice firm shot as you hit the ball. So make sure you have a vertical racket face as you come through and hit the ball. Now at the end, now look at the left arm and the right arm. Try, if you can, to have more extension through the ball before you bend your elbow and you come over. But otherwise, Jessica, nice looking shot. Okay, who's going to be next? Victor, let's see what you got here. Ready, so let's go back. David, you're getting in the picture. Okay, let's see. Slow. Victor, let's go back again. Okay, so from your ready position like this. Now, Victor, let's look at your, how you're holding the racket. First of all, you're holding it quite high up near the handle here. I want you to hold it a little bit lower if you can. You have a good left arm and the racket's there, maybe a little bit lower. And from there, you're going to drop down into the landing. It's nice stepping forward. You're going into the landing. You're, now, there's the contact point. Now, you're a little bit close to your body, but you have a good weight transfer. But if you look... Now that's good extension. Now I want you to catch, but right now, do you see how your weight is already, even on this part of the head, you're starting to lean back. Try and make sure as you hit the ball, you're leaning forward and elbows are up as you hit through the ball. And make sure you finish the shot before you get back for the next shot. Okay, let's see the next one. Okay, let's see the racket back. You turn and pause, looking very good. You're closing a racket face, you're moving to the ball. Now in that situation, what you see now, I would have kept my left hand on the racket for longer. You kind of let go and then you separate it like a scissor movement. I'd want you to turn and pause and then separate getting ready for the shot. You're stepping forward to the left arm, nice big loop. Now in that loop, I want you to try and make sure that the racket face is palm down, facing down. I don't want it to be facing up as you hit the ball. Swinging through and hitting the ball. Nice extension, but once again, look how your weight is already bouncing back off the front, going to the back. You want to make sure that you're leaning forward as you hit the ball. Not bad. Nice hit there, Victor. Very good. Let's see who's next. Okay, we have David. David, let's see your stroke. So you got the racket back. Now when you're getting your racket back, you see how you're dropping the rackets, going past your hip. And then you come forward as you hit it. Now you got your left hand there. You're opening up your body. Nice. Now look at how that racket face. The racket face is facing up, so you know the ball's going to go up. You want to have your racket face like this, so the ball is going to be vertical as you hit the ball. You have a nice stepping forward swing. But please make sure that you're keeping your racket firm as you come through. You're going to have catch, elbows up here, your chin is hitting your shoulder, and you're looking down on the ball. You're coming through, you do a little wrist flick, David. As you're hitting the ball, you're doing a little wrist flick, and then you're tidying up. I want you to try, if possible, to swing through and finish hand-to-hand -hand if you can.
Good, let's see the next one. Okay, now you're rushed into the next one, but a lot of wrist involved here, David. What you gotta try and do is use more of your right shoulder, because the shoulder is the hinge. That means that's the only part of your body that's moving. And you wanna swing with the shoulder. So right from the racket position like this, from your setup like that. Now I want your left hand to be pointing more to the camera and not behind to that net post behind you. But you have your racket like this, and you're gonna be swinging through, and then it's hand to hand, nice and high and then finishing up high. So that's what you want to finish at the end of the swing. Good swing, David. Let's see who's next. Madhu. Okay. You're getting ready. Turn and pause. Okay, now, do you see how big your swing is? Now, if I took a camera angle from behind you, when you set up like this, this is what you'd be seeing. Do you see how big, do you see the racket behind me like this? That is a huge tail. So that's gonna suck up time, so if I hit the ball hard and deep, you're gonna struggle with getting the racket to contact, okay? Now with your left arm, I need to see more separation, I need to see more energy over here, just to get you used to hitting the ball out in front. Stepping out, oh, let's do it again, I wanna go back. We're gonna reverse engineer your stroke, okay? So you step forward nicely, but one of the things I want you, okay, let's look carefully. Left arm, look at the left arm. Want to point into the net post. There should be some separation. You're coming through to hit the ball. Now, your hip has turned, which is great. Your shoulders have turned. The heel is facing. That's great. But look carefully. Great contact point. But your left elbow, which is here, is down low. I want to eat a little bit higher. And you need to be making contact out here and then up front. But the problem is you're turning too much when you're doing the rotation. Now look at that left elbow. The left elbow is probably this height, so you want it a little bit higher. Let's see the next one. So turn and pause. Now, so you have a nice turn and pause. So you're going to have your racket. Turn and pause like this. Ready, 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 ready. And then drop from there. Let's go. Turn and pause. Hold, 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 hold. And step down. Get underneath the ball. Let the hand get underneath the ball. And catch, hand to the ear, elbows up, both elbows up high. Good, looking good with you. But you want to really, if you can, have more extension. How are you, Bella? Let's see that marvelous forehand. Yes, you also have a big backswing. I can tell you that before I even look at it. But when you turn, let's see, you're turning, you're getting your racket back. It's a nice racket back. I want to have more of your left arm pointing to the net post when you're getting ready to hit this ball. You get it behind your body like that, which is, that's the problem, is when you're getting head, you see the, the racket behind my back here, you don't want that. You want the racket on this side of the body, so you can come through and hit a great head. But I know already that this is much better. Nice head out in front. Yes, did you see how high that ball left your racket? Did you see how when you hit it, the ball just faced, went straight up? I want you to make sure that the racket is vertical, meaning straight up and down when you hit the ball, so that will keep it going straight. Let's try another one. Turn and pause. Rack it back. Now that is especially dangerous. You see how you got this racket back and you're taking back like that? You gotta keep the racket here. This is exactly what I'm trying to tell you for the last few weeks. So you now see exactly what's happening with the racket. And that whole whipping like action you got behind you is taking so much time. Not bad, Bella. That looked really great. Okay, Josh. Okay, Josh, now we're looking at you. We're going to look at your stroke. So I want to see the setup. Now from the ready position, you're going to have your racket up chin height. You're going to turn and pause. You're going to pivot. Let's do it again. We're doing it in slow motion. Turn. Okay, now. Do you see how you're not using your right arm much? So from your ready position like this, you're going to turn and pause. And then you're going to come through, you're going to catch, and then you're going to come over. So that's what I want to see as much as you can. Where's your left arm? Where's your left arm? Where's the right arm? I want to see that right arm. You want to see the extension, and then catch, and then come over. K. 
catch, coming over, ready position. Okay, well done, Josh. But you know what we want to work on with you is you want to work on from your ready position, use more of your right arm getting turned, you use your right arm here, and then I want to see the catch. We have two hands meet at the end of the swing.